Welcome back. We are putting our best fork forward for National Nutrition Month, making some healthier food and lifestyle choices. Always a good idea. And we're here with registered dietitian Pat Bear to talk about these simple ways you can lose weight and things you're not even thinking about. Easy things. It, it's simple, and that's the whole thing, is, you know, March is such a great time to have Nutrition Month come to us because... You know, research shows that uh, by the end of January, most people have already blown through yes. all, all of their goals. And the biggest reason is that they make these outrageous, I want to lose 40 pounds, or I'm going to go to the gym every day. And it's best to really start slowly. And the National Institutes of Health says to make a plan. And that's your first tip, right? Yes. Make a plan. Number one, there's no one-size-fits-all diet. So you have to find something that works for you. But first, you really need to know, what are you eating? So use your smartphone for a food diary. Take a picture of every single thing you eat and drink for a few days to get that idea. Then maybe use an app like Super Tracker or My Fitness Pal mm. to record the foods that you eat and kind of see where can you make some changes. Hold yourself accountable. The feet uh, to the fire. Yes, Pat, you like are. It. You know we have to make you a dietitian <laughs> in your next career, <laughs> definitely. Uh, that would be fun. Um, Fruits and vegetables. You know, we focus on fruits and vegetables so often because they are a rich source of vitamins, minerals, fiber, water. It's a good way to get some extra fluid. Mm. But the bonus is that they're low in calories. Mm -hmm. So you can eat up. You can eat up and have so much more than you might if you had a bag of chips. So for snacks, have cherry tomatoes, popcorn. Mm. Popcorn is actually a whole grain. It is. It oh, is. Okay. So I'm gonna have to it's best if you now, make right? it. it. Definitely. First thing in the morning, have some popcorn for breakfast. I like it. Uh, but seriously, it is a whole grain. If you can, you want to try to microwave it, air pop it, so you reduce the amount of fat. Maybe don't use any fat at all. Mm. Um, blueberries are wonderful to have around. To just have a handful of blueberries, make a smoothie. Mm. Um, yeah, blueberries are good. And That's a good breakfast too, Pat. There you go. See, we're going to have a meal. We're going to give lots of good information. Now let's get to the wine because I think this was really interesting. I, well, this is all about portion size. Mm. Many people eat out so much that they have lost track of what is a portion. So I say get yourself some measuring cups, a little food scale. F four ounces of wine is, quote, a serving. I don't know a restaurant in the country that serves four ounces. So here's what I've done. I brought two wine glasses from home. Could you imagine if this is what you got at a restaurant? You would go ballistic. The point this is... This does not look like a full glass of wine. No. So, learn what does four ounces look like. Pour your normal portion, then measure it out. Um, we often have cheese at parties, and one ounce of cheese has 100 calories. So it tends to be what we call cal calorie dense. This is what an ounce of cheese looks like. Most people eat three to five ounces. Mm. That's 500 calories That's a full meal. before anything. Wow. Um, what does a tablespoon of salad dressing look like? I think this is going to be a real adventure for a lot of people. <laughs> and you know, we can't blow off food labels. They're really very helpful. Yes. Um, we're going to be seeing. Your friend. Yep. And. Um, they provide us with the number of servings that are in a package. If you are eating the whole package, you need to be mindful that's four servings mm -hmm. or six servings or however many. Mm -hmm. And often people don't realize how useful they can be All right. in well, making you food portion choices. Out. Pat Bear, thank you so much My for pleasure. your time. My pleasure. Always fun for to be here. For more about her, just head to our website, WTNH.com. We'll be right back.